Greetings. I'm Jane McKenzie from South Africa, and thank you very much for the opportunity to present for track three, the global economy. The evolution of consciousness through positive destruction, the global economy, global deconstruction, and the construction of localized communities, health, home, and food. I'm Jane McKenzie, CEO, founder, and owner of 365 Healthy by Choice. I have an MBA and I'm a board certified pharmacist in South Africa, currently completing my PhD on a new holistic framework for health and wellness. I'm a natural pharmacist and I offer virtual and in-person health consultations globally, and I operate a full-service wellness center from Bryanston, Johannesburg, and we offer training courses and business opportunities. I uh, believe we have a choice, 365 days of the year, where we believe that prevention is better than waiting for when it's too late. As an ex-pharmacist, you could say, I've witnessed the overuse and overprescribing of medicines, um, often not shifting people from illness to wellness and also probably harmful. And in the 30 years and more of my experience, I've really focused on identifying the root causes of disease, validating risk factors, and then realigning the body and the mind, the emotions, the spirit and using natural food state nutrients. My company is um, a center and offers also small, medium and large opportunities for other centers to develop. I'm thinking of this in connection with uh, the local community um, section. Um, the food state nutrients are as nature intended. This means that the DNA of the plant is intact, the natural intelligence of the plant is intact. And when the body receives these food state nutrients, it knows exactly what to do and the innate potential to heal kicks in. So we achieve sustainable health for individuals and for businesses, and we enable a shift from illness to wellness with raised consciousness where people think clearly and live productively in all areas of their life. We train in sustainable living, home ecology, and agroecology as well, and um, other sources of nourishment to use raised, raised consciousness. Here's a diagram that I use to look at the unfoldment and transformation of um, the situation that we currently find ourselves in regarding humanity and the world. And it really is the unfoldment of the golden mean and the DNA. And I'm going to, with this kind of a framework, present the rest of the uh, presentation, um, an introduction, a main body, and a conclusion, um, working along the premise that people have had some sort of an idea that, you know, things should be a little bit different, and um, how can I constructively shift myself, raise my consciousness, and eventually, hopefully, um, serve humanity. So as an introduction, um, this intense period now that we're experiencing, as you know, with um, interconnectedness and interdependency um, will re result in the letting go and surrendering of the old negative patterns that no longer serve humanity and the birthing of new patterns, shifting us into the new paradigm. This is very much the quantum construct. And we will be witnessing a deconstruction and a reconstruction, as you put it yourselves. So um, we believe humanity needs to wake up. And, um, you know, the news is full of fake news. And um, we need to rise above this and understand that um, everybody who's presenting these days has got a hidden agenda. And many of them are directly informing us, actually, of their agenda. We're just really not listening. So rather for be focusing on truth and authenticity, which are prevailing now more than ever before, and, um, you know, be able to watch the old structures dismantle as we now um, move into the new space. And how will we do that? So we need to be at the dawning of co-creating co um, the birth of our new global civilization and for the higher good. 
And this is happening alongside the Earth's current rising frequencies. And in order for us to synchronize with each other and with the Earth, our frequencies need to rise. So how do we do this? We need then to let go of the old patterns, take back our power, regardless of who, when, why, it, whoever's making promises to us, otherwise we're going to be heading for a disaster. So are we awake is the question, enough to understand that we do need to do something. If we sit back, I think the consequences are disastrous. So the other question is, are we in fact aware of our infinite the infinite opportunities available to us. So certain questions might be asked if you think of the unfoldment of the golden mean. And some people might be saying to themselves, how will the future look and how can I be part of the future? How can I do more meaningful work? How will the world be global or localized? How will I work closer with nature, the soil, animals, humans, the cosmos? Will I still feel alone or be part of a community and what role can I play? And 365 Healthy by Choice will provide some practical health and sustainability solutions for new local communities um, achieving a high level of consciousness in the civilization. So let's examine the first question, how will the future look and how will I be part of a new future? So people can be considering, you know, what they can do to birth a new golden civilization and what the future looks like. How will it operate? How will it be interconnected? How will it create interdependency, provide for health and healing, for, for growing our food, education, serving humanity, etc. We have a golden opportunity now to create the new future world and space appropriate for the new humanity. One of cooperation and sharing of the highest good where goods are exchanged locally. We want to move lo to local communities where we will serve each other and a fair exchange of energy will be achieved. People might be saying in the unfoldment, how can I do more meaningful work? Is my current occupation allowing me to express my highest truth? As our soul moves us out of the old job or the old business where we could become redundant or unemployed, are these wake-up calls, perhaps, where my soul is prompting me to seek a living which aligns more with my higher purpose and brings me far more satisfaction at a local community level? Those people who raise their frequencies and attune to the highest energies available will find their soul work by laws of attraction. And this is where abundance follows, along with spiritual growth. Here we're honoring our gifts and talents. And this is essential to soul satisfaction. They might be asking, will the world be global or localized? Living in smaller communities, the focus will be on quality of natural food produced, living with nature, female curves in buildings, living in scalar homes, living sustainably, um, you know, um, off the grid heating options and the use of music, the, the use of ecology in a very holistic, sustainable way. So we at 365 Healthy by Choice are suggesting and advocating a move towards local community-based businesses aimed for producing businesses, health services, and growing food for local consumption. Some people might be saying, how will I work closer with nature, the soil, animals, humans, and cosmos? might be dawning on them. This is something I need to be doing. I need to be interconnected. I need to be interdependent. I need to follow the laws of nature, working with and honoring the soil, nature, animals, humanity, the cosmos in an interconnected and interdependent way and understanding that these are all kingdoms that work together holistically and with more respect for insects and animals like bees, whales and dolphin. They might be asking, will I still feel alone or part of a community? And what role will I be able to play in this community? How will I work closer with nature and follow the laws of nature again, honoring the soil, animals, humanity, the bees, the interconnectedness? And here I put in a quote where we look at uh, something that Leonardo spoke about, um, beauty, where beauty and vitality are gifts from nature if you abide by her laws. And we'd like to share this from a 365 Healthy by Choice point of view. So here we will provide answers to the above questions in a practical way 
for health and sustainability in our new local communities. We will look at how to be naturally healthy, how to be self-sustainable from a home ecology point of view and an agroecology point of view, and how to implement at local community level. Right, how to be naturally healthy. And we need to achieve raised frequencies and energy. We're speaking about electrons, we're speaking about energy, we're speaking about recharging the battery. We're speaking about natural things at our disposal in the local community, such as sunlight, air, water, plants, ground, ding, sound, paramagnetic substances like zeolite, space, community, all supporting and serving us to raise our, our energy levels and charge our batteries. And looking at certain products that will do this, and from an alchemical point of view, from a mineral point of view, an oil point of view. So we want to recharge the battery first, because this is what we're finding is, is, is needed. It's no use trying to detox or throw nourishment at a body that's, that where the cell can't actually take the food and the, the, and the oxygen, and it can't actually detoxify properly. Let's bring in the electrons using all the natural sources that we know of at our disposal at an end result of, an, uh, of a community. And let's now then look at resetting and cleansing. We do, do this again before we nourish. We boost the immunity and vitality. We increase the willpower. We sharpen the mind and awaken the inner self, physically, mentally, emotionally, and spiritually, using herbs, um, minerals, oils, and, and high-frequency superfoods where we start now restoring and nourishing because the battery is charged, the cell membrane is ready to receive food and oxygen, the electrons are there, ATP can be produced, energy can be produced, and the waste of the cells can be eliminated. So we're now having a system of, of ongoing perpetual harmonic renewal in a very healthy and sustained way where we can actually uh, raise our frequencies and our energy levels and our consciousness. So we want to think clearly, live productively in all areas of our life. We store our DNA and we use the high frequency algae, blue-green algae, spirulina, chlorella, pollens, propolis, royal jellies, medicinal mushrooms such as reishi, shaga, shiataki, lion's mane, cordyceps, and very good adaptogenic herbs as well that work to balance our stress and hormonal levels very importantly. So these are the, these are the, the products that we like to use alongside normal proven methodologies, either as existing practitioners, natural healers, or people coming in to learn and train. I'll speak about that in a moment. So we want to rejuvenate the sustainability as well, living our purpose, serving and creating energetic systems of perpetual harmonic renewal, body, mind, emotion, and spirit. So food and health and sustainability are all going together. How do we be self-sustainable, the home ecology and agroecology? We want to recharge, similarly to humans now, we want to recharge the earth, recharge the seeds, plants, and herbs, make them more intelligent. We want to bring in um, things like fermenting the foods, storing the foods. We want to reset the farming methods, the buildings we live in, the music we listen to, the clothing we're wearing, to be far more meaningful, again, at a much higher frequency and move away from monoculture, monoculturing, monocrops, etc., and teach people how to make compost, how to plant beds, how to lay out the bed, how to um, raise the consciousness of the seed by holding it, or put it in your mouth for a certain period of time, and um, then growing food as proper medicine for us. Standing on the soil near the plant where the plant can pick up your vibrations, your excesses and your deficiencies. Really working interconnectedly and interdependently with the kingdoms, the soil, the, the plants, the animals, the humans, and of course the cosmos, <laughs> full of planets. Um, and not forgetting also that a great source of food is the, um, the cosmic dust, let's say, that's falling down onto the earth you know, every minute of the day as well. Sunlight, oxygen, breathing, grounding, all, those, all of those bringing in very fast-moving electrons. And then we want to rejuvenate and, and create sustainable farms. 
and um, that have, a, have production levels working in a state of perpetual harmonic renewal and aligned with the earth and the cosmos. This is very, very important. So we want to really, we want to recharge, reset, restore, rejuvenate, um, self-sustainability, ecology, and agroecology. And then we want to be looking specifically at implementing at the local community level. So we have the opportunity to assist you set up uh, community-based health and sustainability centers, offering health consultations and products for humans, animals, plants, and the soil, as well as setting up training centers, offering courses to uh, for people to become health advisors, health practitioners, and actually developing a career where they start with a few courses, which will then be combined together to produce a, a medium-sized um, course of let's say 24 hours that's moving on to a course um, at a diploma level or an NPQ level in the UK of levels five and six. My courses are registered with, with NPQ and um, becoming then a proper health advisor or moving on to level six and seven, which is more in the degree level and becoming a health practitioner. And teaching people how to um, recharge, reset, restore, and rejuvenate the body using natural food state products, along again with their current proven methodologies, raising the DNA, intelligence of the body, and using the body's innate potential to heal. So there's a whole career training space available, and people can come in and, 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 and gather momentum and move up and achieve higher levels on a, on a, from a career point of view. And then they can even become trainers as well, or they can become owners or managers of 365 Healthy by Choice Centers, you know, in alignment with and in accordance with, with what you're doing already. And also assist people with a job opportunities to become involved in developing the products, teaching the methodologies, the recipes, etc., so that we can then train other local communities and other local communities and the whole thing cascades downwards. So we would start at the top with um, centers for consultation on, on health and how to grow sustainable food and, and live sustainably, then the career path opportunities, and then also the actual making of the products. So a whole lot of opportunities here that are tried and trusted. I, I've walked my talk. Uh, my, my center is completely off grid and has been for the last 10 years. I use biodynamic farming methods, grow as much food of, as possible. We have water storage. We have um, off grid heating, insulation, windows that are coated, um, recycle, upcycle, so um, whatever I speak about, I've actually um, put into to practice myself. So um, we were talking about truth and authenticity that I can offer most specifically to the, to the people in the group. So in conclusion, by now, and if we're thinking of the unfoldment of the golden mean and our DNA and our purpose, one will be able to get a better picture to will be able to form a better picture of what their future could look like, their community and their world. Looking at the possibility of, of infinite possibilities. They can look up and look out away from the never ending flood of texts and video clips that are really keeping people stuck in technology and um old paradigm information and intuitively dream their new reality with limitless imagination. Be inspired by the past negativity, old patterns and chaos to seek transformation as new patterns emerge. And here by feeling the hidden potential of infinite possibilities and reach out, that's all it takes. We find ourselves at the dawning of a birthing of a new golden civilization, a new paradigm shift as we aim to achieve a world where people feel happier, contented, and peaceful and well, where love is able to manifest out of togetherness and oneness. At the end of the day, it is spiritualization of matter, each one of us imagining, inspired, and intuitive about our purpose and manifesting and being impactful. 
as this veil between spiritual and physical lifts, there will be a feeling of oneness. What we eat affects what we think and what we do. And this pertains to health, home, our occupation and food, which all go hand in hand. Our environment imprints on our cellular structures and DNA, all affecting and raising our consciousness, which impacts on and can be profoundly affect the physical, mental, emotional and spiritual bodies of all beings. Deglobalization and formation of local communities offer interconnected, interdependent, cooperative opportunities to serve and express creativity, demonstrating a love for nature, the earth, animals, fellow humans, and with the cosmos, and will be the support structures enabling future evolution of humanity. 365 Healthy by Choice looks forward to serving you. Thank you very much. I look forward to hearing from you.